G'day, here's a parcel of mostly seam opal from Lightning Ridge. Rules in millimetres and it's brought to you by opalshop.com.au where it will be up for sale shortly. Rules in millimetres, some of the materials sandy or clay covered like that because if we kept tumbling it, they'd just wear most of the material away. We'll go in a bit closer. This has just been uh, tipped straight out of the container onto the display mat. Landed, it's landed as it is. I haven't propped it all up. Different material. Perhaps get a couple of stones out of that. One over here and one there, perhaps. Other pieces are a bit more mixed up, but it's good to practice on something like that. You can cut it off, shape it, practice shaping it. It's cost you practically nothing to, to get the feel for the opal without spending a lot of money and just cutting it, cutting a stone up that, that little stone as it is. Put a backing on it, make it into a doublet. Nice little bit of crystal. Some of this is off cuts, a bit of sun flash type material, hot, um, honey potch. In the center. That looks like it might be a piece of material from South Australia, I can't guarantee. Quite often cutters work on several parcels and um, they get mixed up occasionally with little bits and pieces. These pieces of crystal that you could make um, doublets out of. Here's a bit of a rough cabochon. It's been thrown away, you can see why. It's just full of sand. Another piece of honey potch. Whether that's got much colour in it, it's a bit hard to tell here looking under the camera. It's double layered crystal. Honey potch at the top and a, a grey crystal potch on the bottom. And there's a lot of these little pieces. This is like that. Put a bit of colour in it. Should be able to cut something out of that perhaps. It's got a bit of sand in it. Anyway, I think you've got an idea of what you're looking at for your money. Like I say, it's practice material. If you get a stone out of it, it's a bonus. Hope you've enjoyed. Cheers.